That's the clubbing. That's clubbing. Oh, she might break some of this. There. Okay, so this is nest ID number two. Seven eggs, seven oil. Part of the problem is that the resident Canada geese are a result of human activity. They historically did not nest in New England or even all the way as far south as we Wow, they don't want to give it up. No, they don't. Okay. I don't see any neck or leg bands on either. None. So on to the next one. Um, that might be her male. So we need somebody out in front and behind. The, their droppings are known to contribute to beach and shell fishery closures in the summertime with the increased nutrient load, so maybe increased bacteria. This upper part here. I think uh, the Natural Resource Conservation Service here. obviously feels that they're a problem for our agricultural producers, and U.S. Fish and Wildlife feels they're a risk to natural wildlife in this area. Man, that thing looks mean! And the geese piece method that we're using that makes the egg oiling humane is that we test the eggs. So what we do is we put it in a bucket of water, and if it sinks, it's early enough in its development that we can oil it. If it floats, there's been too much oxygen exchange through the shell. We test one egg and it floats. We don't oil any of the eggs in the nest. This year, what we're focusing is, is training people so that they can train other people, and it can be kind of more of a grassroots process. Okay, you guys keep keep in mind we're also making sure we don't step on any other shorebirds' nests. And and cities and towns eggs. can rely upon these people who have been trained in the geese piece method, have done all, it, yeah, yeah. can yep. train that's other people. The, the last pair. Ray's got the bucket right in front of him. Okay, done. All right. There are a lot of people interested in this and Number concerned six. about it for their towns and they want to come out and learn how to do it. I am very pro-wildlife, I really am, but I'm also pro-balance. And when I see something historically that humans have done that puts nature out of balance, I like to try and mitigate that as much as possible. And it really comes from a pro-wildlife standpoint. I care about animals, I care about humans, and I want us to live more in balance.